the circumstances been only slightly different, I would have been much more reluctant to converse with the outcast demon lord. In fact, I would have been more likely to attack without even giving him a chance to speak. That girl, Anya, was her curious personality and her sincerity and admiration for me that led me to try my late friend's approach to dealing with a similarly unusual enemy. I thought that such a person could not possibly side with the cruel creatures working for Uriah. Not that fairies of the deep forest like her are known to side with anyone at all. But did I make that choice for her or for me? Perhaps I merely wanted someone by my side to whom I could relate. Someone who personified the bright and hopeful part of me that died with Argon. Perhaps I didn't want to face the possibility of having to kill that part of me a second time. All this sounds so absurd as I write it. Sometimes I wonder why I let Gallus convince me to write another journal. After a couple of days, we finally arrived at the frontier. Unfortunately, we'd soon learn that the Council's fears had become more than mere speculations. There are so many different flowers in this field. It's beautiful. Indeed it is. My lady, there are encampments ahead, apparently occupied by elves. This doesn't look right. Okay, we just wandered into a flowery field. Uh, just, you know, in between three elvish outposts. Uh, no biggie. Certainly not. They shouldn't be this close to Araguaithi territory, so I presume they belong to the hostile faction. Everyone prepare for battle, and let's hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, for honesty's sake, this is a second attempt. My first attempt did not go well. I managed to uh, defeat two of the leaders, but uh, not the third, and uh, got my hero and some units that have to survive trapped in a corner. So our objective here is to defeat all enemy leaders, and even though that looks ridiculous, it is in fact the objective. Just kill everything and everyone. Uh, Elinia, Anya, Durvan, and Zainara all have to survive. So we're going to have to take care of all of those, and there's only 30 turns with which to do so. Looking around, you see this bow here, and again, that's something that a unit can pick up. Durvan will be interested in that, but not just yet. First of all... We need to sort it out down here. So first things first, I'm going to recall this quick intelligent footpad, and this footpad is going to run around capturing villages for me in the southwest because there's no one there. And there's lots of villages, and income is going to be important. Secondly, we are going to march on the leader in the west, in the northwest, and we're going to do so using a bunch of thugs. At least that's the plan. We'll take a few units that aren't thugs as well. I have one more footpad, a poacher. And a sprite, uh, an inex inexperienced sprite. We've still got 250 gold left after all of that nonsense. Uh, Durvan, you go and grab this village. That one's going to take you three turns, this one's only going to take you two, so you might as well get this one, and then you can run back. What we're going to do is we're going to push northwest and we're going to hold in the centre against the forces of green and blue. sudden dramatic change of music. Now this leader likes to recruit horses in particular. Ah, okay, green's going for horses this time as well. Evidently it's not quite as hard coded as I thought it was. May the Lords of Light protect us! They've assembled an army! Not just that, but they also have support from the metallic creatures of Uriah. 
Now we don't see that uh, actually this time. We see that there is there are these uh, holes in the ground which look like shack style spawning grounds. Nothing ends up coming out of them. Spoiler alert. Um, last time they actually recruited a Rayblade drone. We'll see if they do that this time as well. My lady, what do you suggest we do? I wish we could just entirely avoid casualties, but that's not going to happen. Okay, you head down here. Gotta watch out for horsemen rushing out. It'd be nice to go and grab this village, but uh, probably won't happen straight away. Uh, what is going to happen is that these thugs and footpad type units are going to run north and try and take on these elves. And there's no point beating about the bush, so let's get to it. Oops, on this click there. Anya, you go and grab this village. We get some skeletons too. But I'm also going to send some more powerful units north, because I think I will need them if I'm going to do some defeating up here. So you are the outlaw, you can go that way. Buok the bandits, you can go that way, and Shadow and my Wraith are also going to go that way. Because it doesn't look like they're recruiting anyone with arcane damage, at least not yet. Let's have one more ghost. My lady, I can summon up to three more spirits. Didn't end up recruiting as many skeletons as I wanted to. Well, I'll do that next turn. Anya and Zainara are going to join this fight to the north. Elinia is going to stay here and guard in the south. I fear for the fate of the elves who sent that call for help to the council. There we go. Just the one ray blade. And Blue's run out of money. Green's gonna go grab some villages, which is smart. And yeah, a few more units and you run out of money too. Purple's recruiting quite a mix. Doesn't look like purples run out of money yet, or if they have, only just. I'm gonna let them come to me, at least for initially. I would like them to fight in the forest. Uh, okay, so two people can reach this rim. So I'll pull you back. Put you, pull you back to, put you there, and then you can come back a tad, you go there, hopefully that will be a nice tempting set of units for you to attack, then you'll come forward, you go north. You walk, go north, you come up around here. And then everyone else is going to hold in the south. Including, I think, all these skeletons. 
Might be that I need some support up there. If so, I will still be near enough that I should be able to clean things up. It's midday. Let's get some cheap units. There is a certain appeal to recalling fire fairies and sprites in this scenario, but elves seem in general to be fairly effective at taking them down because they're better in forests than, than the sprites are, so I'm going to mostly avoid that unit line. Is there anyone else I want to recall at all? No, not really. So two more recalls. I'll make it. Skeleton's actually very useful here because what happens is the elves really love to come and shoot pierce damage bows at skeletons for tiny amounts of damage because they can't be retaliated against. Okay, that I think should be should enable me to hold here in the center. Um, Durban, shame you can't reach this one. One thing I would say about the uh, this campaign is that the difficulty levels are pretty variable. So the first scenario is pretty difficult, defending the village against the Dark Mage and his skeleton horde and zombies, and the second scenario is kind of relatively easy. Third scenario is cutscene, fourth scenario is... Let's see what happens here. Fourth scenario is kind of actually a ridiculous piece of cake. Like, how is this scenario even in it? It's so easy. Fifth scenario, um, this one uh, turns out to be very, very difficult. Um, or at least, uh, maybe not that difficult, but if you play it like a dumbass like I did, then it's definitely difficult. So I think I'd quite like to hang on to these villages, but otherwise... Maybe I can make a line here and just see what happens. Can you reach them yet? No, not quite. You can. You can even reach the back of my line in the north. But you will come down. You're, you're not stupid, so you will come when Alinea is here. You will ultimately come and fight her. So we'll make a little chevron of skeletons and a linear over here. Now this is the force that's got to hold. Um, if it doesn't go well, we can fall back to the base. Um, but in general, if, if the elves trickle at us and they fight in the open field, then we will have the advantage because of our damage type. All right, so the, uh, the purple player is doing exactly what I hoped they would do and advancing towards us piece by piece. It is the daytime, so almost all of these units are completely useless. But we can start to deal, deal some damage. Good, good. Okay, gotta avoid the arcane damage dealers with my undead units. Can 
lure them out with a sacrificial thug, though. Force these folks to come down south. You stay there. I think one of you ought to go into the wood. And if these guys want to come around and just uh, shoot my bandit, my thug in the woods, uh, yeah, I guess. Same with this guy. Only one person can reach him. Should be fine. This footpad's sitting on the hill. On the house. Everyone's moved, so who needs to move, so let's go. As predicted. Oh, look at that two damage. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth sacrificing an entire expensive unit. Seriously, the Elvish horse line is so expensive and so rubbish. And you did even less well. What are you playing at? Most interested obviously in what purple does. I don't mind if you do that. Okay, uh, my income goes up a bit and as predicted fighters come down to shoot my bugs. Now it's dusk, so my units are less useless. And let's see how much pushing back they can do against... There's an awful lot of Elvish fighters here. I don't like that, because they tend to be kind of strong. Most crucial thing initially is to get rid of these Acolytes. I'm going to try and mop them up by going around this side. Not the best performance ever from you. Nice work there from Anya. you here and have you okay thought that might happen so now Whew, all right ghost I think is going to end up being a sacrificial ghost. Doesn't quite manage to get the kill.
Okay. Only one fighter can reach that sprite, which is good. I think my weaker units will distract. And you just stay there for now. Okay, now down here, this should be a relatively straightforward piece of work. This one's a bit tougher. Maybe I'll take in a linear to finish the job. Or try and fail to finish the job, as the case may be. I don't want you to go there, because then the elves can attack you from the woods, and that's really annoying. So, should I just leave you? Yeah, probably. You got there. Yeah, you're not going to pose a threat to me anyway. See how this plays out. The shaman units, who are normally almost useless in combat, are actually quite annoying against skeletons because of their combined abilities of slow and impact. But it's coming up to night time now, which is when my forces thrive. This was all predicted. Oh, you guys! You guys do sometimes miss. <laughs> it's nice to know. It didn't didn't look like it was it was the case. All right, you're in a forest, so I need people with magic to clear you out. Not super effective there, Shramania. Zanara does a better job. Alright, now it's time to take out some elves at night. Can anyone get round? Good, you can get round. You just stand there, and then my shadow can hopefully do the business. Good. As for you, um, you can go in and get and clobber this fighter. you got that level because if you didn't you'd have been pretty dead next turn
This guy's actually outside the forest. No, really? Oh dear. Okay, you're not quite the uh, absolute jammiest of jammy buggers. Now you do what you like. Um, rather you didn't kill that thug, maybe you can try and... If I put you here, that would block you, but at the same time, that would also mean that you could fight from the woodland. Which I would rather you didn't. I think actually I'm going to put you up here and protect my heroes. And you. Good, that looks nice. Gotta kill you. You've already got a kill, so you can have another one. And so far as it's possible, I'm gradually going to retreat these guys. But not before. Hittable Shaman of Doom. And I've only got archers left to deal with the problem. work. All right. Tempting to put Alinea here on the corner and see what carnage she can cause. All right, you're nearly dead. You can go here. Oh, you can reach all the way down into my base and attack from behind, but I don't suppose you will, because you're going to want to try for this guy. Alright, what about my two southern forces? Good. If you head straight north, um... In fact, you don't even need to head straight north. You can head... You can actually... bait out this scout. If, if the scout really wants to come and attack Durban at night, it's welcome to try. Okay, so purple leader is almost out of troops. Blue is... blue and green are sort of... they're coming. Um, it's a shame that it's only the short dark, not the long dark. I could do with the long dark right now. And you are okay where you are, and eventually you can go over here. That's some nice inaccuracy from the uh, AI there. Not attacking a linear, I see. We've got to get rid of those fighters from green, they're going to be a pain. Blade does a little bit more than pierce against skeletons. And, uh, and these guys are quite tough too. Oh, so many. So many. But I can take them, I think. Oh! Did not see that coming. Oh, 
How do you do that, girl? Do what? You seem to be able to heal your own wounds without any effort. I haven't heard about the fairies of the deep forest having that power. Ah, well, I have had this ability for as long as I can remember. Okay, now, the issue with you being here is that you've got good defense there. Um, so... It'd be nice if I could lure you out somehow. I've got so many units here. Some of them should be able to pull it off. Can any of them slow? No, none of them can slow. Am I going to try and kill this guy? I feel like I should. Okay, tit for tat. You're on seven health. Whew, close call there. Okay, that should be fairly straightforward for Durvin to deal with. There we go. Now you guys need to kill this one as a matter of urgency. Don't want him sneaking around. In the back of my base. Maybe I will actually... I think it's actually not a great time to attack this guy right now. So maybe I'll let him go back to his base, which he probably will next turn. Either that, or he'll have to come out into the fog, come out and... Uh, this guy's here, though. Excuse me, 30% chance to hit? What? This guy's such a big, beefy bugger. Great. No one can hit this guy. 70% such a Bloody pain in the ass. Okay, I try it. Either you try it. You try it, you could be killed. Can you could also be killed. Can you be killed? Yep, everyone can be killed. <laughs> oh, oh, down goes a the shadow then. Well, there's not a whole deal of point you attacking. Not this turn, anyway. Just like you being back here, especially because you can go and attack him.
All right, who to prioritize here? I want you to get four hits. There we go. So no more arcane damage on this flank. Not that it makes that much difference. And then you, perhaps. Lots of shamans left. And my income is looking a bit better than it was. Okay, and you can afford to come down across here and grab this house to make the situation even better again. Gonna lose my uh, shadow and that really annoys me. You might get really unlucky and miss with all four attacks, but yeah, he won't. You, you haven't attacked yet. All right, good. This isolated skeleton. So much slowing. And in comes the drone. Well, you gave a decent account of yourself. My friend. Okay, I am losing skeletons here. The archers are more useful against shamans, because at least shamans then don't try and sneak attack them. Okay. Oh, you bastard. And amazingly, this this I, I managed to deal a total of 16 damage to this Avenger in the whole of last turn. You are dead. You'll probably die too if you go in. Yes! The traitors! They have slain me! Those elves who willingly choose to support the forces that seek to destroy our world don't deserve to live. Well, that seems rather hypocritical coming from you. I can hear you, Zanara. Wow. We, we hear that uh, we find that Ilinia has one million tile hearing range. <laughs> Uh, what are you going to do next turn? Hopefully not kill anyone, and uh, fortunately the only person you could kill is Anya, and she's out of your range. And you can't reach the main battle, so the skeletons can continue their soulful skeleton struggles. I'm going to need to watch out a bit for Durvan. Once these skeletons' ranks start to get thinned, he might be in trouble. First of all, though... And my income's looking really good now. Oh, no kill. You can try and get the kill. Alright, everyone now retreat so that I can hold.
everyone who can retreat, your zone of controlled. So you should just attack whoever you can deal the most damage to, which happens to be this guy. Actually, there's not all that many of you that can retreat, is there? Ah. low on troops now. That assault in the north has cost me a lot. It's going to be hard to put, come back from this. I'm really annoyed that I've lost so many units on this flank. In losses, I mean, all level one apart from that shadow, but still, this is a very, very difficult scenario. Far, far, far more difficult than anything we've had before, and that includes scenario one. Blue's not looking that strong anymore. Get your ass out of that forest. Right now, you are a bit too useful to really go around grabbing villages, but if I don't want you to go towards this battle really, because it, all it all it will result in is your death. Um, and I've got now enough income, mostly because my troops are getting massacred, that I should be able to recruit some more troops relatively soon. Shame it's the middle of the day. Can't quite reach that house, which is a shame. Next turn. You. That's reachable. Okay. Not good, not good at all. Given the number of shamans, it would have been good if I'd gone for more archers, skeleton archers rather than just skeleton skeletons. Still hindsight 2020, and uh, these guys are going to put themselves in weak positions now, but uh, they seem much better at hitting than I do. And oh no, they grab my villages!
I've got precisely zero gold now. And my gold situation is only going to get worse. to do anything, not enough gold to do anything. Uh. You stay where you are. You... Oh, come on! Two hits as well. Rubbish. Okay, probably these two skeletons will die. This ray blade is irritating. If it can get close enough to a linear, a linear can, uh, can trounce it, but... Hmm. Ah! Ha! Well, that was less bad than I hoped. Less bad than I feared. like the beginning of the end. I'm not at all worried about Elenia. I don't think anyone can kill her. But... Ah, good. Okay. Now, if three people attack you and don't kill you, you will level. But unfortunately, I think this ray blade's going to go for you. Fortunately. I can do two damage to the ray blade. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, you come back. You go there. Oh, maybe you can even save my ass, my helpless ass. Once again, and An Anya can stay still. You. Ah, oh, not a horsey horse rider. Right there. Unfortunately, Green has quite a lot of villages, and it is causing him to be able to trickle units my way. Maybe I can shut that down with some of these units up in the in the top flank. I'll try it. I'm going to try moving a linear. recruit anything last turn, that was dumb. I could have recruited a skeleton archer. Looks 
looks bad for old Durvan. He needs some big meaty kills in order to get his way out of this one. Hmm. I was actually hoping he wouldn't get that, so that I could use... Hmm. Oh, that was cool. Hmm. Let's see if this isn't too little too late. No one can reach these villages, so can go there with Anya. And I can send you down to this village. Improve my income situation. to this house. Okay, I could still... I have to be... Basically, Durban, Durban has to not die this turn. Um, and I think that's unlikely, especially since he's slowed. I think, um, unfortunately, Green is going to make mincemeat of him particularly. He can still fight. Is it worth it? Is it worth him trying to attack anyone this turn? I think not. I think he's just going to hold his hold his place a bad turn for the AI. And to make matters worse, it's really that they're not doing very well at capturing villages, which uh, normally is one of the strengths of the AI. Um, now what I cannot do, even though I've got the gold, is... Uh, what I can do, I can move you, I can move you off the base. Okay, you're now very close to a level. Still want to kill you. Oh well, I got very lucky last turn, so... Probably not surprising I didn't do so well this turn. How? Okay, Linnea's almost at a level 2, but... Uh, it's, it's tough. Footpad or Skeleton Archer? There's so many shamans around that it seems like the skeletons are kind of a bad idea at the moment. starving the green player of some much needed income. I can recruit one more unit down here, what will it be? Skeleton Archer. They are they do deal more damage and that is ultimately what I need at this point. What are you gonna do? I think stay where you are for this turn is the answer. Because you'll come and attack next turn and you'll you'll get killed, probably. Blue's rather feeble army of uh, shamans and archers. You can stand there because if 
But if these guys decide to go after you, it shouldn't be fatal. You can start to make your way back. Oh, you've only got 39 hit points, though. Hmm. It's only you three that can get there. I think I think I'm safe enough. And you're probably more likely to kill to want to kill this archer if it hasn't already been killed by the ray blade. Or, you know, if you're really keen, you can come and attack this wraith. Because the shamans can't reach you. Ooh, okay. The tense ridiculousness continues. Okay, that archer's dead. Blue can't really do much other than this. Oh! shooters. Even if you die now, you'll have done grand. Ah, okay, Durvan protect, but he also attack. Uh, one, one good turn. Um, apparently doesn't deserve another. Alunia is the best at uh, gradually putting paid to all of these stupid shaman. Observe, and I'm not sure whether it's more useful for you to be a huntsman or a ranger. Basically, it's about there's very little in the way of hit points in it, so I think it's mostly about whether you want the marksman trait or not. And I think the huntsman in this case is worth it. Um, so you're a huntsman now. Got twenty gold. Can recruit another. Skeleton Archer. I could even recruit a Ruffian over here if I wanted to. Right, you're coming out to fight Anya, are you? No, couldn't see you there. Okay. Still a bit reluctant to push in with these units from the north, because if I do, I'm going to get in a bit of trouble. You've got more villages you can capture, haven't you? Stay put for now. You stay put. Ah. 
level if you don't if you don't get killed no no oh god oh that's terrible And you missed for the third turn in a row. Okay, I've definitely uh, had my share of good luck, apparently. You be a ghost. Oh no, what did you do that for? There's a, there's a sorceress right there. Skeleton archer again. Okay, now I need Sonya. Yep, good. You go up there, just for now. Can you... I'm wary of doing anything with that stupid... That's pointless. Coming down here might not be pointless, but not sure how well you'll do either. Okay. Now you what where went did are oh, you okay, you went there. This is so stupid. W you hit as if it's uh, as if it's seventy percent when you're ah uh, sorry. Why did I even move you down? enough. What's not enough is what's going on up here, because I'm going to lose my beautiful, beautiful bandit. <laughs> Utterly abysmal performance. Finally! Okay, now you. <sighs> hmm. Okay, can Alinea actually take out anything? <laughs> She's been useless so far, just completely beyond the pale. I'm gonna recruit someone here. Ideally someone who isn't weak to arcane. Maybe this is the opportunity for a footpad, but then again... Well, I'll have a thug. And then over here I'm going to have... Ooh, tempting, tempting. Yep, 
Yeah, you're dead, and that's utterly pointless. I could have just left you in the north. And you've done no damage to anyone, pretty much. Watch, yeah, I was going to say, watch him get the instant slow. But it doesn't matter, because rangers are just that awesome. All right, now you try this. Instant slow, and double hits. And, yeah, hopeless. What about you? You get that house. That horse is... What is the horsey horse doing? What is the horsey horse doing? Oh, it's going over there. Okay. It's going to try and grab all of my houses one by one, so I just need to keep doing the same with this guy. I feel like I am gradually pushing back here. Pointless death. Zombies of a feather can flock together. <laughs> and you kill that lady. Fantastic. All right, finally, Alinea does something useful. So I can get shielding, I can get fairy fire, which makes me much weaker. I can get strength five, which gives me plus seven hit points. Uh, doesn't seem hugely useful. Plus one in snare damage doesn't seem like a bad idea. I'm going to go for that. It'd be nice to keep you alive. Of course. If I recruit too many stupid units here, I'll have to march them all the way south, so that's probably not advisable. Let's just have another thug. my uh oh that's still you you're still walking around you haven't no one's attacked you and you haven't attacked anyone either lovely work finally i'm getting through this massive irritating units but the turn limit is running on it's not going fantastically and i still might lose this dude and that'll be a real tragedy 
given what an absolute beast he's been. You're gonna go for it though, aren't you? And you're going to be incredibly lucky and achieve it. Yeah, I mean, kill the zombies. Sure, everything else though. Okay, you need special treatment, my friend. Dead zombies. Yeah, who needs to hit? Hitting's for losers. Soulless, excellent.
Okay, got you in the end. All right. Now we need a strategy to nail this stupid horseman in the south. Skeleton archers are way better than normal archers. Okay, put you there. Hopefully that doesn't mean that you die. That would be unlucky even by my standards, but it could happen. I was going to send you down to deal with the horseman. Well, that, that, can, still, that can still happen. Yep, shoot the zombies that I wasn't planning on keeping around. Okay, Anya is getting close to a level now, that's handy. You come down around here. So I lost a bone shooter, it's fine, I can make more. Okay, so Southern Leader, I'm going to need to split up into two parties if I want to finish this in any kind of decent time. Southern Leader's not... Southern Leader's the scarier one. She's a mystic, she's level 3, she's got a nasty arcane magical attack. Um, Northern Leader is just a horsey dude, um, not so much worried about him. So basically archers are going to do better against the Northern Leader, so they should go that way. Maybe you should go south as well. See if I can lure you out. Not quite this turn, I think. Maybe next. Time is of the essence. Smart. Yeah. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, good. We go there, and maybe... You'll probably just go straight in and attack Alinea, I think. Um, sorry, Anya. What I want you to do is go over here. So, I guess I'll just take you over there. Get off my land right now. Oh, you're slow, are you? No more running around. No more bullshit. Take that. Are these foes enough to deal with a leader? Possibly not. Hmm. These folks enough to deal with Lisa, possibly <laughs> a leader, possibly also not. Um, especially one that can recruit one per turn. And I don't have a healer up there. Oh, Maybe I should send Alinea back and get some more units. Ghosts would probably help to the north. To the south, I don't know what will help. A miracle, maybe. Or maybe I should, maybe I should have just tried to fight it all at once, to just go south first. Maybe I still should. Huh. I've only got nine turns after all. You've got a job to go, and that's to do, and that's to go and get this bow. You've got a job to do, and that's to get these villages. This guy is very hard to hit. Ugh. Incredibly hard to hit. Kill. Alright, Alinea is close. Uh, sorry, not Alinea, Anya. Is close to a level. If you go there, you'll get ambushed, which is quite amusing, but equally could prevent you from getting into the forest at all. Oh no, I can't quite. Prevent one of you from getting into the forest. One of you will go for that. That's thug, I just know it. I just know how your mind works, you silly AI.
Oh no! Not another horseman. No, I will not let this happen. <laughs> Gotta guard this one. Maybe this Solus can just stay where he is. At least for this turn. Can I get this bow? Seven turns left. Oh, we didn't think you could get there. Ah. Oh. Okay, Elinia, you put the plan into motion. You and you're not Elinia. Okay, we've got a Night Nymph. You're a bit more powerful. You get the bow. Surely this isn't. That is. That's the Fable Bow of Chris Velen. It's said that one night in 1064, YW, an errant elf well learned in the mystic arts chanced upon the small fishing village of Chris Velen while it was under threat by hostile orcs. The unmatched prowess of the archers manning the village's defenses took took the elf by surprise, for he had never seen humans able to surpass elvenkind's skill with the bow and arrow. He was so impressed after the end of the battle he used them his magic to give the Crispillians a parting gift, an enchanted bow that imbues any arrow shot with a powerful ice magic capable of slowing down targets to a crawl. Of course the veracity of the story has been disputed too many times to count, especially since nobody ever found any solid proof of the bow's existence, and most accounts claim that the elf was over a thousand years old. Imagine the insanity! But how on earth did the bow found its way from the Glamdral mountain range to this region? No matter, we should just get on with it and give it to one of our most skilled archers. Well that would be you, Durvan. Do you want me soon to pick up the item? Yes I do. Within this legendary bow, the bow of Chris Velen, lies a powerful elemental pat magic able to slow down targets. Rather disappointingly, it does nothing to increase the damage dealt by the unit. Its power is only active on offence. But now it's a marksman attack that slows, so that is good to have. Okay, everyone else needs to go north again. I'm going to pull back with you. So you're all in places where... Yep, good. You stay where you are and get a little bit of hit points. Um, can't afford to laze around here forever.
good kill there for Zanara. And we are shutting down the money sources of the blue player. Green player is doing a little bit better financially. Still not able to produce a unit every turn though, it looks like. You were going to go south, weren't you? I think I will need you north. You can't move very fast through the forest, that's a shame. Well, you guys just go straight. Eyes on the prize. I don't really need to kill these guys after all. They're still not very powerful. It's kind of disappointing. and defense so much. Five turns left. You won't even get to this base in five turns, will you? Huh, <laughs> well, just. If nothing stops you, nothing gets in your way. slowing me down very successfully with four turns to go. And Linear, you just put pedal to the metal. Nothing's going to stop you now.
Very nice. Next turn in for the kill. In this flank. This flank's looking more problematic because they keep sprogging units. Dang it. Interesting. What's your game? You think you can. Uh, I don't really care. Should have this in the bag. damage this is 25 damage seems more reliable I'll take 44 in return which is not great none of you can even hit once Kill here. Okay. Hopefully, both leaders are weakened enough that I should be able to finish them next turn. North, I'd like to feed the experience to Anya, she can get it. I shall not fall today! He's escaping! Damn it, I had him in the zone of control. <laughs> oh. I think it's gonna, you know, I think uh, Durban's taking time to get used to his new bow. This guy is going to be the only enemy left. Um, let's feed Zinara this experience if I can. Who is it that dares defy the power of the Lady of Light? You, I presume. I am the only Lady of Light 
but there is on Erdia, and you have been deceived into fighting against me and the Grand Council of the Northern Peoples in favor of a dark cause, one that betrays the memory of our civilization and our leaders. You are nothing but a blatant imposter working for the human bastards, a dirty, treacherous imposter. Take her back to the encampment. I need to ask a few questions. I refuse to answer to the likes of you. <coughs> this conflict didn't begin just now. When Gallas and I last visited the northern country, a civil war was already raging due to Enodian's death. The rumors pointed at the Iron Council's intrusion in our lands and affairs, but we didn't have the opportunity to confirm it. Ah, the struggle that resulted in the banishment of the elves from the country. I remember that. Much elvish blood has been shed today. I swear that whoever is behind this shall pay with their own life, no matter what it takes. Elinia, I'm so glad to see you again after so long. Unarie, what happened? We were heading towards the eastern forest to meet with you when we stumbled upon this incursion. How could our enemies advance this far? Indeed, we owe you a few explanations, and I apologize for being unable to arrive earlier, but our forces have been severely weakened. Come with me, and I'll explain all. My lady, do you know this elf? He is one of Galas' friends, Unarie and she's been collaborating with the Grand Council ever since we left to infiltrate the Empire. I know she can be trusted. Now, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I did have some gold left, even though I was uh, kind of <laughs> pushing the uh, turn limit. Turn finished early 1. Bonus gold, 93. Um, so I will get 93 bonus gold next time. Let's look at the statistics. Um, Advancements, I got two bone shooters, both of which I ended up losing. A fugitive, a huntsman, night nymph, outlaw, and soulless. I lost a bandit, two bone shooters, annoyingly two level three level two units there. I mean bone shooters are easily replaceable and also easily expendable, so uh, that's not the end of the world. And probably uh if previous scenarios are anything to go by, I would want to recruit them later in the game anyway. Um and everyone else I lost is kind of... Ah, uh, yeah, this shadow, that was very irritating. Um, but actually predictable, because I didn't really take down that leader in the uh, northwest as effectively as I could have done. Okay, so there we are. 28 losses, 61 kills. Um, that was just an insane battle. Um, overall, that didn't really go my way. Um, I didn't inflict as much damage as I could have done. Um, but, you know... Such is the way of things, and that's the end of the scenario. So let's get the little cutscene that follows it, shall we? Unaria told us to follow her guards into a nearby forest where some of the allied elves had just set up camp. I could tell by her grave expression that she bore bad news. It took her almost the entire afternoon to make time for speaking to us. Everyone here is restless, and the elfish leader is nowhere to be seen. Ah, here she comes. I apologize once again for keeping you all waiting. It's no problem, really. The reason we moved out of the way to the Aragwaith country is that we originally thought our fallen kin would chase us and leave the humans alone. As we all just saw, of course, we were mistaken. Our own people have managed to retrieve some valuable information from the enemy settlements, though. Listen carefully. We are listening, my friend. The imposter who calls herself the Lady of Light has amassed a varied army of elves, humans, barbarians, and shaxthal creatures, apparently as part of a plan to reorganize the Chaos forces and strike the human country from the east while keeping their troops busy in the west. Not only have they gotten support from Enodian successors, but they have also made contact with elvish and human barbarians from lands further to the east, peoples whose existence was unknown to us thus far. Their base of operations is said to be located in Telchior's Hold in the Valley of Alinea, the very place whence we fled under Gal Galas's command following the Chaos invasion. Something deeply wrong must have occurred there after our departure. As I recall, the last time we met, 
You mentioned that Lord Ledinor was possessed by Uriah. That's correct, indeed. The information we have could be a fabrication intending to mislead us into thinking the valley has some relevance in the greater scheme of things, but it's not possible to disregard the danger this foul new alliance poses. If the northern lands fall now, the Chaos Empire will have won the war, even without their emperor or capital. We are in the middle of restructuring our forces to protect the Eastern Front for as long as we can, even if the Grand Council isn't available to coordinate efforts with us. Lydia, you lead many capable warriors, and you have the support of the undead. If you could infiltrate the valley in the meantime and vanquish the imposter, we could put an end to the war on this front. But I know nothing of the valley, other than that it lies in the middle of the desert. Fighting in such an environment could be disastrous. The impersonator is a coward, and she isn't going to lead her minions on the front line. If anything can be done about her, it'll have to be at her base. If you could send this this side with me, that would be brilliant. I could really use another healer. You are a powerful warrior, and you have more experience in these matters than any of us present. You helped Galas and Malkeshar infiltrate the Chaos Empire before. I'm sure you will be successful in this task. Very well. We'll travel to your old home to purge this plague and strike down the false Lady of Light. Thank you, Elenia. Thank you all. I'm sure that under your command the mission will be a success. Now, I must go to discuss our plans with our field commanders. But my lady, the ruby? What if it's a trap? We'll have to deal with the trap if that's the case. This is more important. Eloran would be uh, face palming right now. Possibly even head desking. <laughs> there we go. But Eloran is waiting for us. Please inform him of our next mission and convince him to be patient. Very well then. Okay, there we go. The end of the scenario, and the end of the cutscene. We're going to take a break there. Please leave a like on this video um, and comment if you have anything interesting to say. Comment even if you don't have anything interesting to say. I'll be happy to hear. And that's it from Cyber Neurodruid. See you next time.